Good afternoon, we are back in the field of Golden Promise that we were drilling back in the springtime. So we are on the Simpsons family farm near Eyemouth. Uh, so this is High Lowe's farm. We've got the, the sea in the background and the sun's shining. We've had a beautiful two weeks. Um, some really extreme heat, sort of high 20 temperatures that um, you know we're not all really used to. But uh, safe to say the crops have been holding up well. Um, it's Field of Golden Promise. It's just looking well, you know, nice nice heads on them, on the stems, and so we're probably about three to four weeks, four weeks away from combining if the weather stays like this, fingers crossed, um, which is quite sort of a, a usual time for us, sort of end of August, um, beginning to start Golden Promise spring barley combining. Um, so yeah, hopefully the weather, the sun keeps shining and it will ripen off nicely. So Golden Promise is one of those spring barley varieties that is slightly earlier than other spring barley varieties. Um, so when it comes to being ready um, for combining, we've got to be pretty, pretty hot on getting in here and making sure that we're getting it cut at just the right time. Um, it does stand out. Um, it varies year to year of whether or how early it's going to be compared to other varieties that we've got on the farm but but this particular this particular year we are going to be much where we would be on an average year and um, we're actually next week end of next week hopefully fingers crossed with the weather we will be starting to combine our winter malting barley which goes to simpson's malt as well um, so it uh, it all comes around extremely quickly uh, but it's one of those things with harvest, you know, it's an adrenaline, there's a buzz about it and it's, you know, you really are, all the work that's gone on through the year, um, you know, you, it's all coming, all coming together and it's just a, a nice feeling to watch the combines start rolling. So, um, yeah, no, looking forward to harvest now. For us to be able to sell our crops, sell our grain to people like Simpsons Malt, uh, we get inspected by SQC, which is Scottish Quality Crops. Once a year we will uh, be inspected, someone will come to the farm and look all through our relevant paperwork, have a look around the farmyard itself, making sure that sheds are clean and um, you know, we're, we're making sure that we're really looking after the quality of the grain inside the shed. Um, this is really so that there's a sort of traceability and that the general public have a understanding and um, know that as farmers we really are doing everything we can to make sure that our food is, is safe to eat and, and, and has a sort of has a paper trail behind it which is you know it is important and it is something that we you know f for us ourselves you know we pride ourselves in in making sure that we're producing a really high quality product. Um, so things that these SQC will be looking for is ensuring that our sort of um, pesticide records are up to date and that we've all had the relevant training. Um, so sort of annually we have to, um, you know, make sure that our training is up to date. Um, when every, any field is, is ever sprayed, you know, the, there's always a paper trail um, going back um, so that anyone can come onto the farm and see see when exactly it was sprayed and what's been applied. So that's really that's really important, um, and it's good for farmers as for us as farmers. It is a good thing that you know we are detailing what we are doing and and keeping on top of of our paperwork. Um, it's also a good way of making sure that you are uh, forward thinking as farmers. Um, there's a lot of sort of chemical changes that are potentially going on in the next few years so you know it's good to keep up to date with that and and um, just ensuring that what we're doing is is high quality for the crop um, another thing this this particular week with the run-up to harvest uh, is actually farm safety week um, sadly in agriculture you know there are quite a few farm accidents so farm safety week is a week where we just sort of all take a step back um, recharge the batteries and just have a look over the farming practice and see if there is anything that we can maybe do differently, make safer. Um, so that's kind of a, one of the things that we're doing on the farm at the moment is just sort of um, ha having a chat with everyone and, and making sure that we're doing everything that we possibly can.